Hello there, Year 13. This is a screencast looking at the written element of Unit 3, um, writing and evaluation of your research and development. Um, this qu this uh, screencast is going to look specifically at question 1. But before we go on, I want to remind you of all the six questions you've got to answer within the controlled assessment. And you've got to answer all these six questions within 3,500 words. And like I said, this screencast is going to be looking at uh, question one. How is the initial material being developed, uh, researched and developed at significant stages during the process of creating drama or the performance? And so because you've got 3,500 words to answer all six questions, you've got about 600 words to answer this particular question. This is possibly one of the harder questions, I think, uh, because it's actually asking you to do a number of things in a really short and concise way. So if we look at the question a bit more in depth here, how is the initial material being researched and developed at significant stages during the process of creating the drama? Well, the first key word that we need to be aware of is this one, research. The question is asking you to talk about your research and the driving forces behind that research. Um, right from the very beginning where we were thinking about what our performance was going to be about all the way through the process to thinking about um, particular information for characters, particular information for scenes, particular information for plot. And so that takes us to the next key word, which is this one, developed or development. So the question is asking you, firstly, what did you research and why? Secondly, how have you then used that research to inform your performance? How has it been employed and embedded into your performance? And here's the bit that makes it really tricky and, and, and really presses you uh, for word is this bit, the significant stages, which tells you that you've got to write about more than one particular moment in the creation process of your of your piece of theatre. So it's asking you to do three things. Um, it's asking you to talk about what you've researched and why, how you've used that research into your performance, and then to do so at more than one point in the process, which means you've got to be really specific looking at very, very specific small areas for your examples rather than writing large-scale generalised comments. So we really need to start by focusing on research. And the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to pause the video in a moment and I want you to write down all the research that you have completed from the very beginning of this process. Now that's a big task, so I want you to do it in as concise a way as possible. I suggest the best way of doing that is a mind map, but you can simply write it down in bullet points if you want. Just recap, why right from the beginning, all the research that you did, going from the historical contextual element of what you wanted your performance to be about, the social, the cultural, the political elements of what you wanted the play to be about, right down to the <coughs> excuse me, the style of the performance, that you watched any films for your research, all the way through to the research that you did to, to develop your character, to develop your set, to develop your costume. Remember that on stage, everything is justified and justifiable, and it is your job as directors and devisers to justify that. So at no point should you have just gone and done something or picked a costume off the rail because you wanted it. You need to be able to go back and fully justify all the decisions that you have made with reference to the research. So I would say that that would be, uh, if you're doing a note form, you know, two or three pages of, of notes, bullet pointed notes, um, if you're doing it in a mind map, you know, that's got a pretty dense mind map. So it's going to take you quite a while to do. So pause the video now and uh, come back to it later.
Okay, so once you've got all your notes into where you've researched, um, you need to do something with them in order for them to become useful in uh, completing your controlled assessment. And uh, I suggest strongly that you create yourself a kind of a map um, or a timeline of how of when you've done the research and how you've used that research. So start off with a simple line which is the is the process that you've gone through and you can time that so you can say that that's um, way back into September and this is where we are now. And then like I've done on this example here I want you to put into place your uh, your research so the research that you created to form the ideas of a play and remember to include the research that you didn't use that's an important process of developing a piece of theatre or developing anything is to do research and then to make decisions that you don't want knowing what you don't want is just as good as an, and important as knowing what you do want so start putting them into a sort of kind of like a timeline. So, you know, we've got the, the initial ideas, which you would have then devised. And uh, then we would have needed a few more bits of research to put those uh, devising into some sort of context. And then as we got on to creating a stronger, longer play, we would need to re-research certain elements of, that, of those uh, initial research or further in-depth research of the especially contextual stuff to confirm that. At one point, no doubt, you will have had an off-the-wall idea which you wanted to research and, and produced and, and created. And of course, no doubt, there's something right at the last moment where you've, uh, you've had to add something in um, and you needed to make sure that that was accurate. So... Maybe do this over several pieces of paper, or maybe do this over one big of a three piece of paper. Put your research into a timeline. I want you to pause the video and do that now. Once you've um, put it into some sort of timeline, I then want you to indicate what were the driving forces behind the research. So what led you to do these bits of research? So if you think about the forming of ideas, what what drew you to the ideas for your performance? Um, what drew you to doing that off-the-wall idea which you thought would be quite important? What was the driving force to the research that you did for your costume? So start thinking and making a note on what the driving forces for each of those research, research was. And also... Do the uh, the next bit, the exit bit, which is how then you use that into your performance. Inevitably, you can kind of start to see that actually these things have informed one another as they go along. Um, so hence the process of, of developing a piece of theatre is linked heavily to research. Um, so stop the video now and uh, and think about putting what the driving forces were behind these sections of research or this particular piece of research and how you used it in the performance. So link it into the practical. Stop the video and have a go at that. Once you've done that, you can start to see, well, actually, these different areas can actually form my different paragraphs for the perform for the controlled assessment. And that's where your notes are going to come from. Okay, so that is what I want you to take into the controlled assessment. Okay, what I'm going to suggest to you next is a structure for that controlled assessment um, and give you the opportunity to do some practice essays in preparation for your controlled assessment. So here's a suggested structure. All right, we're going to be using the, the P paragraph structure, point, evidence and explain. And the point is the research. Okay, and I put there be specific. I really mean be as specific as you possibly can. Narrow it right down. You've only got 300, word, uh, 300 words per paragraph for this. 
So you can't really write something really, really generalised. It's got to be something absolutely very, very specific, um, such as uh, something to do with your character, something to do with the way that your character moved, talked, um, a particular uh, a plot line that you needed to research. So make it really, really specific. The evidence then is going to be that driving force. What uh, what you were doing with it? No, that's a driving force. Sorry, um, the, the the way that you used it. So, uh, what were you doing? Were you developing a character? Were you developing a plot? Um, how have you used that research in your performance? And then the explanation is the driving force. So, think about what your intentions of your piece of theatre were. Um, why you needed to do that was it to authenticate part of the plot was it to make sure that your performance and your character was as authentic and realistic as possible remember even in the most abstract forms of theatre it is our job as directors to be authentic and realistic because there's real people out there who are going through the same things that your characters are going through and we owe it to them if not to anyone else, to make sure that our performances are, are authentic. So that's one paragraph. I suggest you do two of those. Um, and so you've got about 300 words for each one. It takes, it takes you up to 600 words. Um, and those two, air, those two paragraphs would look at two different areas and two different times of the process of creating the performance. Okay. So have a go at practicing that essay. Um, look at the assessment criteria. Look at what the examiner is expecting you to write. Um, mark it yourself. Get me to, to have a look at it. Um, and uh, get someone else to have a look at it. Remember, you can't bring in your practice essays into the control assessment, but you can bring in your notes. Okay, good luck.